Hello everybody and welcome to Witchy Life Story. So this is a game I've actually had on my wishlist for quite a while. I actually don't even remember when I wishlisted it. I just know that I really liked the look of it. And it finally got released. I got the email and I bought it the same day. I knew we were going to have to play this one. So let's get started. New game. Oh, we can make our own character. Von Tiesel is our last name. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Oh, we got a lot of different body types. I like that. Um, let's see. Let's go with body three. I do have freckles. I also have tattoos. Um, let's see. My name, Yabby. Let's see. Oh, and different hair. What one looks like the my hair in real life? Oh, I do have long curly hair. Perhaps too long. Kind of want to cut it. During the pandemic, I like shaved off most of it and it was really nice for how long that lasted. Let's go with pink. And then let's see. Ooh, different eyes. Oh, I love those. Oh, but those look like me. Perpetually tired. Let's go with those. Or is there one that looks more tired? Perfect. No, wait. Oh, yes. And eyebrows. What makes us look even more tired? I'm playing this really tired. I think these, these ones fit the best. There we go. And let's see. That one. All right. Glitter. Oh, we have glitter. Glitter. No lips. Ah! Oh, my cat's on the keyboard! Goodness. I just realized it makes it very hard to see my eyebrows when I go to my my skin tone, but I also have the same problem in real life being a redhead, so we'll keep, we'll keep it. Fashion. Let's see. Ooh, a jumpsuit. Ooh, shorts. Western outfit. Ruffles. Red dress. Ooh, a cape. That looks really cool. Black dress. Flashy top crocheted outfit oh that looks really good with the pink oh let's go with the crocheted outfit we have hats oh flowers oh our little hat oh no i like that wait there's more than one pointy hat oh galaxy please get off the keyboard i'm gonna pick you up give you a smooch and put you down <laughs> and let's see Oh, perfect! We got glasses. I need those. I actually really need to get my eyes checked. Let's go with those. And I don't wear earrings. Let's see. She they. Awesome! Look at our character! I love it. Alright, done. Spent like four, five minutes character customizing and I don't care. I love doing that. My name is Yabby Von Tiesel. I'm 18 years old and I have a crow familiar named Ramsey. That's a beautiful name for a crow. I dislike listening to my gran and people and drama. I like my familiar Ramsey and witchcraft and being me. Everyone in my family thinks I'm hopeless, which is why they sent me here to the village of Flora to prove I'm worthy, worthy of having the Von Tiesel family name or whatever. Honestly, I wasn't listening all that much when my grand told me. Galaxy! No, Galaxy! Well, I think this is it. Oh, you look so cute, Von Tiesel. Or no, your name is Ramsey, sorry. Yeah, the village is pretty small. Do people actually live here? Oh. We need to go to the town hall, right? Grand said something about that. As always, very eloquent Ramsey. Whatever, it was their 
Well, I guess it was Grand's choice to send me here. The rest of my family just wanted to disown me. Either way, I'm here, aren't I? Isn't that enough? When they could have just... Let me do my own thing. We don't, like, come on. They could let us do our own thing. We're our own person. But no. So I acted out a little. They deserved it. Oh, look at that cat face. And don't tell me you didn't think it wasn't a little funny. Gaga! I needed to get my frustrations out somehow. No, Yabby, that's not how you hold in a theme. Yabby, why don't you wear the traditional Von Tiesel garb? A Von Tiesel shouldn't speak like that. Are you sure they're really a Von Tiesel? Maybe someone switched them at birth. Oh, I'm sorry, Ramsey. You probably don't like all this talk, do you? Yeah, I know it's better not to give them any mind. And they're not here to say things. But they're still gonna judge me at the end of it all. Go, go! Sure, let's head to the town hall. The mayor's supposed to be expecting us or whatever, right? Oh, great, they're making a big deal of it. Ooh. Oh, we got all these different places. Can I visit any of them now, or do I have to go to the town hall? Alright, I think we do. Town hall. I think this is it. No, you knock. Look, <laughs> Ramsey, come on. You don't have hands? Use your beak. Hello, I'm Ruth, the mayor of Flora. How can I help you? The mayor? I'm Yabby Von Tiesel. Yabby? Yes. Von Tiesel. Yes? Is Margie with you? Margie? Majora Von Tiesel. Oh, my gran. Nope. I see. Will Majorum be joining you later? No? I see. This is really awkward. This is incredibly awkward. Gran, um, Majorum said you'd be expecting us? Well, we were expecting a Von Tiesel, but truth be told, we were expecting... Ka <coughs> ka! The letter? Oh, that's right. My Gran said to give this to you. You take the letter out of your pocket and hand it to Ruth. Ruth opens it and starts to read. You notice her face growing more and more... I see. I asked Margie if she could help us with our harvest festival during a critical time, and Margie sends me her grandchild who needs to prove she is worthy of training. Uh, Ruth, was it? Are you okay? I I'm sorry, pardon me. I lost focus there for a little. Are you sure? I just should have expected something like this is all. So you're in trouble. Just a little. But you do know what you're doing. Yes! But sometimes I don't, let's be honest. And that's where the fun begins. Then tell me, Yabby, was it? Why do you need to prove you're worthy of training? Shouldn't you be finishing your training at your age? Uh-oh. Training is such a structured way of approaching things. I'm more interested in, let's say, throwing things together and seeing what happens. I see. The mayor skims over the letter. Hmm, this letter also mentions something about a magazine. A magazine? My grand mentioned a magazine? Why did grand have to mention the magazine? Oh, we know about it. Covenpolitan. Co Cosmopo Covenpolitan. Sounds familiar now that I think about it. That's right, it's a witchcraft tips magazine, correct? We have a villager who is an ardent reader. Do you know... Just your luck. It was all a big joke, really. No harm was really intended. Though I guess the... Mushroom tea pushed it a little too far. But I wrote all the spells under an alias, Avon Eslet, Elset. So it's not like the readers knew it was a Von Tiesel witch. My grand shouldn't have been snooping through my grimoire in the first place. Or rather, Avon Eastlet's grimoire, even though the whole thing was made up. Of course, of course, so we shouldn't expect any of the same shenanigans. No! No, 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 no. And did your grandmother explain what you'll be doing here in Flora? Helping out with the festival or something, yeah? I kind of only half listened. We're hosting our annual harvest festival, the Floriala Festival, in two weeks. As you know, harvest festivals are held to bless our villages and land with prosperity and abundance. However, for the past, well, for the past more than several years, I'm afraid, 
Our harvest has been lacking, and thus flora has grown smaller and smaller. And this year is looking to follow the same pattern. It's why I reached out to Majorum. I feel like all our energies are just off somehow. I was hoping she'd help us with our festival, but... You got me instead. Oh, you could be honest, Ruth. <laughs> Perhaps this task means Majorum trusts you. It seems odd she'd send her grandchild to complete such a task if she didn't. More like she wanted to distance me and the family. Sometimes space is just the thing we need. Either way, I suppose we'll just have to make do. How about I show you around and introduce you to some of the villagers? Alright. <laughs> Ramsey's excited, at least. You, Ruth, and Ramsey make your way down the hall. Ruth knocks on an office door. Come in! Hello, Mel. This is Yabby, the witch who will be helping us with the festival. Oh my goodness, hello! You look around Mel's office. You notice all the candles, incense, charms, and magazines. She must be the ardent reader. You must be skilled in aging magic. You look so young! That's because she is. This is my friend's grandchild. I see, I see! Mel is my second in command. She's been a big help coordinating everything for the festival these past years. Yup, yup! And this year's going to be the best ye- ah! I just remembered I have a meeting to go to! If I run, I should still make it on time! Mel, it's right down the hall. Mel runs out the door before you could say anything. She has a lot of energy. That she does. I suppose we should go ahead and make our way around the village. Lead the way! Ooh! Oh, we have a hundred something. We can check on the moon. Oh, there's so many people to talk to. Ooh, I like your hat. Let's talk to you first. This is my home. Let's see. Oh, I picked the right house, I guess. Let's see if anyone else is here. You walk into the home and hear someone playing the guitar. That must be Devin. Devin, can you come here for a moment? Oh, um, sure, Ruth. Wow, this person looks uncomfortable. Maybe we came at a bad time? I like their outfit. Devin, this is Yabby, the witch I mentioned. Hello. Devin is friends with my granddaughter, Nisha. They'll, they'll be writing music for our festival. Oh, <laughs> Devin's awkward. Not that we're helping. That's great. I think it'll be wonderful. Well, we should let Devin get back to work. Nice meeting you. Uh-huh. Devin shuffles their way back upstairs. That was very awkward, but I love your style, Devin. Hope you see more of you. Uh, let's go here. You walk to the town square. It's in a state of disarray. This is where we hold the Floriala Festival. I know it looks a little chaotic, but it'll come together, I'm sure. Jonas can be pretty dependable. Can be? Jonas, are you around? Hey, Ruth. Whoa, is that a crow? Did you befriend it or something? It's my familiar. His name is Ramsey, thank you very much. Ramsey's my familiar. Familiar? Is that what they call pets these days? Yabby is a witch. Oh. Jonas steps back a little. What's his deal? Our usual builder injured himself the other week, so Jonas is taking over in his place. Yup, tomorrow is my first full day in charge. How are things going? Good, I think. Everything should be in tip-top shape by the festival. Good, good. Well, we'll be on our way. N nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Jonas walks away at a brisk pace. I'm guessing Jonas doesn't like witches. Well, that's his, that's his problem. Ooh, we've got a shop. But I like you. Let's talk to you. This is the art studio. My granddaughter, Nisha, should be around here somewhere. Oh, they're an artist? Ah, oh, what the heck? Now I've got to clean up your mess again. Nisha, is everything okay? Huh, yeah, I just accidentally knocked over some paint is all. Uh, who are you? Nisha, that's not very polite. I'm Yabby, your witch for the next two weeks. Weren't we expecting someone a lot older? Yabby is my friend's grandchild and a witch in training. A witch in training? Don't we need a witch out of training? It'll be fine. Yabby is a Von Teasel, after all. I'm not a very popular Von Teasel. Hmm. Well, we should continue with our introductions. Sure. See you around. Bye. You turn around and whisper to Ramsey. 
I get the feeling she doesn't like us very much. I don't think anyone has liked us very much so far. Maybe Devin, but they were more awkward than anything. I don't think they were expecting to be introduced to the new witch very quickly. Alright, well, let's see what the shop is. That's right, we do have a store in Flora. Somehow I always forget about this store. How do you forget about a village's single store? You should be able to buy some spell materials here. You approach the shop and try to open the door, but it doesn't budge. In fact, the store looks empty. You should try coming back tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Ugh, okay. All right, well, that doesn't help us if we can't get stuff. Maybe it's like Marnie and she's only there like one day out of the week. Who are you? You approach a cafe. Let's see if John's around. Hello, Mayor. How can I help you? Oh, we're just stopping by. This is Yabby, the witch helping us out for the festival. Hmm. Oh no, this isn't going good. Again. Oh my god. Someone say something or kill me. That would end it faster. Have you met Mel yet? Yes. Hmm. John and Mel are married. Really? I mean, um, oh, that's nice. Well, we'll be on our way. I just wanted to give a quick introduction. Goodbye. John walks off and tends to a customer. I don't think any of those introductions could have gone worse if we tried. John can be quiet, but he's a wonderful baker. Make sure to stop by for a treat sometime. Oh, I love treats. Oh, Ramsey does too. You slow down and put some distance between you and Ruth. Psst, Ramsey. Caw? Yeah. Do you get the feeling people here don't like witchcraft? Ruth turns around. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. I think it's time I show you your home. Oh, we have a house here? Is it just like a shack in the woods? It's the one with the garden, just this way. Oh, the one right there? Which one? This one? Where do you want to go? Home! Whoa, it's so pretty! You walk into a small cottage. Wow, it seems perfectly in order. Not for long if I have anything to say about it. Our previous witch used to live here. I'm not entirely sure who maintained it, but hopefully it's to your liking. Hmm. It's perfect. Let's be nice. I like it. This cauldron shall serve us nicely. Yes, of course. Make sure to check your mailbox in the morning. That's how we send in our orders. The garden is just through that door. You'll find all the gardening equipment you need out there, too. Then there's your wardrobe and bed. There's also this moon altar, the last witch set up. She used to decorate it with items she found around Flora. I think that's everything. We're glad you're here to help us. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid our village tour has tired me out. I should let you get settled anyway. Tomorrow's your first day on the job. Sure, um, thanks for the tour. Of course, goodbye now. Yeah, all those introductions were a little awkward. Ugh, why did Gran do this to me? They don't want me here, and I don't want to be here. Getting disowned would have been so much easier. There's got to be a way to get out of this. Think, Yabby, think. Wait, I've got it. There's a calendar here, right? Let's take a look at it. Ooh. Calendar, calendar. Ooh, we got a bunch of stuff to look at, though. I'm curious. Okay, wardrobe. Oh, so we could change our look if we want. I like that. We can also sleep. What is this? Moon altar? Kaka! Me? Distracted? No! I'm just slowly making my way to the calendar. All right, Ramsey, all right. Calendar. Yes, this is it. See, there's a full moon on the 8th. We just need to be as perfect as we possibly can until then. I don't know what happened with the text there. Then, on the full moon, we'll perform a ritual that'll solve all their problems or whatever right then and there. Oh, I don't think this is a good idea, me. Cheating? How is that cheating? It's called efficiency. Do you really want to be stuck here for two weeks? <laughs> I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Do I really want to go back home, though? Aw. Oh, <laughs> we're caught between a rock and a hard place. I don't know. But we need to get out of here first. The rest we can figure out later. Yeah, I guess it's time to get some rest. Gonna need it for tomorrow. 
Oh, definitely. Well, now we know. The festival, full moon's then, then it's the festival. Alright, I guess we'll find out. But we're gonna find out next time! I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm really liking the look of this game so far. Especially, like, the art style is very beautiful. Character customization was awesome. I loved it. I loved all the different options. And I also really liked the little Flora Town we got. I, I mean, all the introductions were definitely awkward, but maybe it's just like Potion Permit and we can turn people around eventually. We'll have to wait and see what we can do. Until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and checking out the game. Remember to take care of yourselves, don't mess with Mushroom Tea, and have a good day.